Welcome back to uh, the P.S. Gilmore story, episode 42, and the opening of St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. Today we're going to look at this briefly. It's not going to take too long. This beautiful edifice which fronts um, Fifth Avenue and Gilmore's um, part in its development and so on. His very good friend Eugene Kelly was the secretary of the the whole project and um, and uh, oversaw the the development of the building. Here it is um, in the course of its construction and we see uh, timbers I presume that's what they are going in the front door um, the spires in the front obviously aren't on neither is the the roof or anywhere close to it um, but uh, it was a statement basically by the Irish who built it um, that the they were here to stay and um, uh, I, I suppose you know right in the center of New York it was cer certainly a, a a stamp of their authority on the city forevermore here it is as it uh, looks today beautifully uh, um ornate and so on inside but down on the right hand side there you see the seats the pews as they're called and it's to these pews and indeed the the um uh the other uh or ornamentation within the building um that Gilmore was concerned with um they organized a um a series of fairs um for instance this one here entertained by Graffello's band and this is from November the 1st 1878 Graffello was extremely popular in New York at the time and um, a, a great friend of Gilmore's himself admission 25 cents uh, to the concert and here's the the advertisement for the Grand Fair no open day and evening um close on november the 30th um grand promenade concert by gilmore's full band and distinguished soloists on thursday december the 5th so this was an effort to raise the money to furnish the building itself here's a lithograph of the actual fair within the building people donated everything and anything to the fair um and uh, i think during the fair there's a there's a report that over a quarter of a million people attended this fair um uh, it's such a huge and beautiful edifice itself and um, there was general support in the building uh, or in the in the in the uh, city for the building um here's a report from the grand promenade concert by gilmore's band over 3000 people were present the calcium light which had shone upon 2000 200000 visitors to the late cathedral fair was again in place last night and lighted pavement sidewalks and brown stone fronts for a block or two up and down 5th avenue with almost noonday brilliancy since the opening of the fair last saturday the building had not uh, before been open after six o'clock and the occasion of its being again lift, lit up was the uh, grand pr promenade concert in aid of the cathedral by Gilmore's military band. For this purpose, the floor was cleared yesterday morning of every vestige of the recent fair, save the floral temple and uh, refreshment room. A long row of seats extended down the main aisle and the remainder were gathered between the, pl uh, the pillars and along the walls in such a way as to offer a little uh, to offer little impediment to promenading. 
the bandstand was erected within 60 feet of the eastern extremity of the building where the table of the cathedral previously stand, stood. The band, although not quite so full in numbers as when it furnished music in the Gilmore Gardens, um, was nonetheless in full uniform and its redoubtable leader with spectacles on uh, his nose and glittering uh, decorations on his left breast. M uh, moving further on, between the pieces, ladies and gentlemen who were compelled to stand and considered uh, um, would, they would change their positions occasionally uh, for what they considered better ones. But the lucky thousands, the thousand who had chairs to sit on were in no haste to effect a change of base. During the intermission, however, promenading was generally indulged in and the building rang with sounds of laughter and conversation. The acoustic qualities of the immense auditorium are not at least in its present condition, all that could be desired. And the mellow notes of stringed instruments and loud blare of brasses were prolonged in a confused echo. Mr. Gilmore favoured the audience with um, a characteristic programme, including a potpourri of national airs of Ireland and Germany and a selection of the most uh, common pieces of the day. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of the event as it took place in St. Patrick's um, Cathedral in New York 144 years ago, within a week or two of this date. And uh, it gives you an idea also how um, community-based all organisations seem to be at this period of time. Give everyone a handout. That was the attitude, and it definitely was such an attitude with Gilmore. So next week, we're going to be back with another story from New York, as Gilmore was truly now going to um, create a footprint, a footprint in this phenomenal city uh, that um, he could be remembered with for for all eternity. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Listen, have a good week and enjoy yourselves and uh, click like and subscribe, please, before you leave. Thank you very much. Bye now.